correspondent and host of Reliable Sources, Brian Selter. Uh, so the first question that comes to mind is, is how is 21st Century Fox responding to this, and did they know that he had settled this, uh, he had made the settlement to the tune of $32 million for sexual harassment before they resigned him? The company says it knew about the settlement, but not about the price tag. Okay. That's the difference, according to the company. Here's part of the statement we've just received from 21st Century Fox, Rupert Murdoch's sprawling media company. It says in part, when the company renewed Bill O'Reilly's contract in February, it knew that a sexual harassment lawsuit had been threatened against him by Lee Wheel, uh, but was informed by Mr. O'Reilly that he had settled the matter personally on financial terms that he and Ms. Wheel had agreed were confidential and not disclosed to the company. The statement goes on to say that his new contract, which was made at a time typical for renewals of multi-year talent contracts, added protections for the company specifically aimed at harassment including that Mr. O'Reilly could be dismissed if the company was made aware of other allegations or additional relevant information was obtained in a company investigation. The company subsequently acted based on the terms of this contract. So, so what Fox is saying there is, when we let him go in April, three months after signing that $25 million deal, it's because we had added this clause in the contract that allowed us an out in case of something like this. But what's in a mystery case there were here, more sexual harassment claims that, that's they, right. that were... Okay. That's right. Because you remember in, in the April, that's when the New York Times reported on all these other settlements in O'Reilly's past. Now, those were much smaller than $32 million. So we're talking about uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars or, or small millions, not a $32 million sum of money. That, that is a staggering amount, and it just makes you wonder, what was Lee Wheel charging? What was Lee Wheel alleging had happened between she and O'Reilly that O'Reilly was willing to pay off $32 million? How unprecedented is that, a $32 million settlement for sexual harassment for uh, in this sort of situation. Well, look, we're in the middle of this Harvey Weinstein scandal. Right. We've learned these horrific details in the past two weeks about him. He was typically paying 50 or or $100,000 to accusers. Uh, we know that Gretchen Carlson, because she sued Roger Ailes 15 months ago at Fox, she received $20 million, which was, at the time, an eye-popping mm -hmm. amount of money. I remember. Now, this is an even bigger sum of money, but I think the mystery here is, why didn't Fox know more if it didn't know? Why was it willing to renew O'Reilly's contract at all, given that there was this brand new allegation of harassment? And by the way, the other big picture story here is that Fox is under a federal investigation right now into settlement payments in the Roger Ailes case. So you wonder if this is going to have an effect on the Department of Justice investigation. Yeah, I was going to say, what, do we know more about where that stands, the DOJ investigation? It's something of a mystery. Uh, it's been going on for the better part of a year. They're looking into whether Fox tried to cover up its mm -hmm. payments to Ailes' accusers. I mean, you've got a company here that seemed to be rotten from the top. Roger Ailes was the boss, and he was engaging in this behavior. Uh, and then you had Bill O'Reilly, who was having to pay women who were accusing him of harassment as well. N neither of them were with the company anymore. But you wonder if this is going to hurt O'Reilly's chances getting a new job mm -hmm. at a new network. It just, it, it's amazing, though, that they were aware of the settlement, perhaps not the, the amount, right, uh, given right. what they say, but that basically they say, okay, put that aside. If there are any more that come to surface, then, then we have an out for your contract. Right, yeah, go ahead. Keep doing your job.